All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how a Bungie dev actually responded to inadvertently the hacking in Destiny 2 and in gaming as a whole when he tweeted out this. This is uh, Bungie's community manager, DMG, tweeting out this just a few minutes ago saying, much love to Respawn and Apex community today. Hackers are a poison. Don't know a single MP studio that isn't working their ass off to solve these problems, prime example of toxic passion. Attacking devs and studios that make the games you love will never get your point across. So very interesting stuff. And inadvertently talking about how, you know, even Bungie is working to fight against, you know, these hackers and these cheaters inside Destiny 2. But the actual hacking that happened to Respawn and Apex today was much crazier than anything you see in Destiny 2, okay? Right now you see cheaters in Destiny 2, but the actual hacking is crazy and i'm going to cover that right here so what happened was reported right here it says breaking it appears a hacker is taking over apex playlist with a message about saving titanfall yes they've actually have an in-game message that says a website that they're trying to promote and in that they're saying that titanfall 1 is an unplayable game essentially and they want to save that game by having the studio give more attention to it it's a very weird twist on a way to hack the game this is not put in the game by them. This is not by the studio. This is a hacker actually putting an in-game message. How crazy would it be if you saw something like that in Destiny? You know how we have those helpful hints in the bottom left corner? Imagine someone is like talking to you. A hacker can write any message in the game to you. And it's on your screen in-game. And it even goes worse than this. One more image shows this right here. It says, players affected by the hack are unable to queue for any other game mode. So you're literally locked into the game mode. The website accuses EA of fraud for selling Titanfall while it's unplayable. So some really crazy stuff there. If you thought the hacking was bad in Destiny 2, it could definitely get worse, okay? Mostly what we have in Destiny 2, they're just cheaters, nothing this crazy. And definitely really sucks for anyone playing Apex Legends and being affected by this. Definitely sad to see, but uh, happy to see that, uh, you know, Bungie Dev uh, addressing this issue and at least subtly responding in regards to how this issue is truly plaguing the gaming communities as a whole. I mean, truly, gaming as a whole is being sort of held hostage by these cheaters because there's so much money in cheating. They're able to generate and recoup their losses for paying for the cheats, and these companies just keep making new websites here and there. And one thing that was actually been reported to me, and I was going to make a separate video about this, was that one of the biggest cheating sites, supposedly Destiny 2, can't even be shut down by Bungie, right? Bungie recently worked with another company, another gaming studio, to shut down, it was a site called Gator Cheats, and now they just have other sites out there that can't be shut down because they're overseas and no one knows who owns them and stuff like that. It's a really crazy time right now in the cheating situation and in the hacking situation in the gaming industry as a whole. I posted a tweet maybe a couple days ago saying that if there was a gaming studio that could develop a game that is unhackable, hack-proof, that game would be a multi-billion dollar game because right now across the board in all games, no matter what game you're playing, when it comes to PvP, any PvP centric game, and even if it's not a PvP centric game like Destiny 2, Destiny 2 is primarily a PvE game. There's hacking, there's cheating going on, and it's an absolute epidemic for everyone. Like I said, like he said right here, it's a toxic passion. People just get into it. They're making money from it, and there's just truly no stopping it, it seems like. And obviously, Bungie does need to work harder to, to stop these things. There needs to be, like, actual anti-cheat measures. But if you notice, in a game like Fortnite, they even have two anti-cheats stacked on top. Like, they have two anti-cheats. Two. And there's still hackers that get through. There's still cheating that happens in Fortnite. So, truly, there, I don't know if there's any remedy or solution. I don't know how computers work. I know that computers are probably hack-proof. But what I'm thinking is some game studio out there needs to throw enough money at it to get like White House level security, CIA, you know what I'm saying? CIA level security on a game. So that way no one can hack it. I'm telling you, if we were able to do this, well, I don't know what type of, you know, protocol this would take, but that would be a huge game. That would be a big thing. I think that's what needs to happen in the future because the hacking is only going to get worse and it's actually going to ruin the fun for all of us. All of the games that you love to play are just going to be riddled with hackers and all of the fun of gaming can essentially be stolen from me right now. We've seen it in Destiny. In PvP, the hacking is awful. If you play on PC, it's 
absolutely terrible. And we even see it in PvE now with people running the world's first and day one raids, countless people getting the 24 hour emblem in Vault of Glass by cheating. I even did an interview with a cheater who actually accounted his exact story of how he did it and everything. And it's just, it's very sad to see this huge epidemic taking over. And we've seen the next level now where hackers can actually infiltrate the game. And hopefully nothing like this ever happens to Destiny 2. That would be really sad to see an in-game message from a hacker broadcast to all the, you know, hundreds of thousands of players that play this game. But that's the news for today. If you did enjoy it, make sure to subscribe with notifications on, and I'll keep you up to date on all the news in Destiny 2. Smash the like button if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.